Hi, this is David Kirk. This is tips on doing homework one. Uh, on the instructions, the first thing we start talking about are bytes. Uh, bytes are how we store data in a computer. Um, basically, in a computer, we have digital circuits. And a computer is made up of millions or even hundreds of millions, billions of digital circuits, and each digital circuit can either be turned on or off. Uh, if the digital circuit is off, we say that it's equal to zero. If the digital circuit's on, we say that it's equal to one. And that's what gives us a bit, B-I-T, is a bit is one computer circuit that can either be turned on or off, or we call it zero or one. And this is how we store data on a computer in bits. Now, what we really do is organize all the bits into, we group them together in eight, and so eight bits gives us a byte, B-Y-T-E. And this is a word that you've probably used when you're talking about gigabytes or megabytes. So again, a byte is eight bits, and it can, and the eight bits can be any combination of zeros or ones. So right here, I have eight of them. I have one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. So it's just, I just uh, wrote down eight random bits. Um, now, let's convert this to decimal, because this is in binary. Binary is the numbering system computers use that's only made up of ones and zeros, because it's based on bits and bytes. Uh, if you open up a Windows calculator, and here in the newer version of Windows, you've got different views in the calculator. Uh, I'm in the programmer view, because the programmer view allows me to convert between decimal numbering system, that's the numbering system that we use, zero through nine digits, and binary, the computer numbering system, ones and zeros. Now, if I click on binary, and now I type in uh, these ones and zeros, the binary, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. And now I click on decimal. Now I convert that to decimal, and it gives me 150 equals 150. Okay, again, I just typed, I just, you are able to type in a binary number and then click on decimal to convert it. Okay, so now keep in mind, a byte is all computers store. Everything you store on a computer is stored in bytes. Uh, let's do another one. The smallest, oops, the smallest number that a byte could be would be all zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can imagine, that is just equal to, if we convert that to decimal, that would just be equal to zero. Uh, now, the largest number that a byte could be, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, would be all ones, because we don't have the number two. And so if we converted that to decimal, that would be equal to, uh, let's go back to binary, uh, clear, and type in eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we convert that to decimal and we get 255. So basically everything you store in a computer is stored in bytes of memory. And again, you have today's memory, you have billions or gigabytes of memory on them. And each byte just stores a number between 0 and 255. So imagine this, that everything you store on a computer is stored as numbers from 0 to 255. Whether you store music, documents, video, pictures, software, programs, uh, everything is stored as numbers from 0 to 255. Okay, now, uh, one thing we're going to look at on the homework is storing of text. Here on the homework question, uh, right here, text, to, um, text is stored on the computer using an ASCII number. So since the computer only stores numbers from 0 to 255 in its bytes, we need a coding system that tells us uh, what number is used to store each character. And so right here we have the decimal or the ASCII numbers, and that tells us which character of text uh, is used to store in each number. It doesn't go all the way up to 255. Some There's some extra spaces to reserve for those, uh, for special programs. Um, but as you can see, if we're going to store 
uh, notice we have uppercase letters, we have lowercase letters, we have uh, symbols over here, a space is stored as number 32, and then we have uh, the accented characters that's used in the other languages that are derived from Latin, like Spanish and Portuguese and French. Um, so, uh, and so this is your basic way that we store text. Now, since this was created, this is still how we're storing text. Computers spread all around the world, and so therefore we have another coding system called uh, uh, disappeared. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is what I get for uh, slide. I don't have my slide sorter up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, okay, finally, we have another coding system called Unicode that is used to store the characters of all languages on, on the earth. And so you can see these are actually all the different writing systems. So, but just for English and related languages like Spanish, we're using ASCII to, tor to store the characters. So let's look back at the homework. Um, so that should help you out on these questions right here. Um, here, like number four, translate the binary bytes into decimal numbers. You can do that using the calculator and then look them up on the ASCII chart and what do these three letters spell. Um, now let's look at uh, questions five through seven. This is talking about, I want you to get familiar with the terms like megabyte, gigabyte, uh, terabyte, because these are when we group a lot of bytes together we're using the metric system. And there is a slide on that right up here. You can see here's bits, bytes, then when we put a thousand bytes together it's a kilobyte, a million bytes is a megabyte, and a billion bytes is a gigabyte. Okay, so let's look at one of these questions here. All uh, these questions five through seven are, are pretty much the same. It's asking if we have storage device, this one is 80 gigabytes, how many files of five megabyte will fit on the 80 gigabyte? And to do these questions it's just simple division. So for this one, what we have is an 80 gigabyte storage device, and we want to know how many 5 megabyte files will go into the 80 gigabyte. So what we do is we divide 80 gigabyte divided by 5 megabyte. Now, one way to do that is I like to write it out. If you look up back on your other chart to see how big a gigabyte is, it's a billion. So 80 gigabyte is 80 billion and 5 megabyte is 5 million. So we have 80 billion divided by 5 million. And now uh, when, you're lar when you're dividing large numbers you can cancel out some zeros so I can get rid of six zeros up here and six zeros down here and I'm left with 80,000 divided by 5 and y'all can figure out the rest of that I'm sure. So that takes care of those questions 5, 6, and 7 they're all alike. Uh, now question eight has to do with uh, the term megapixels. When you're reading about digital cameras, which now most, uh, you know, all cell phones have a camera on them, one of the things they'll tell you about the camera is how many megapixels are the, uh, the size of the pictures. And that's basically how megapixels means how many millions of pixels. So really, if you, um, if you just multiply the horizontal resolution by the vertical resolution, because all pictures are made up of little bitty dots called pixels, and this is how many horizontally there are, and this is how many vertical, this will give you how many total million pixels there are. Of course, don't forget to divide by a million to get megapixels. Uh, a typical digital camera is on new cameras, uh, or typical resolution on new cameras today might be between 4 and 12 megapixels. Uh, question 9 are the extensions on files and a lot of these you can just look up. Here's just a listing of a uh, Windows Explorer or File Explorer uh, one folder and it shows a bunch of files and it shows the extension. And the extension on a file tells us what kind of file it is. For example, um, a 
.doc extension, that's actually the old version of Microsoft Word. So that's a Word document. Of course, the icon tells you what uh, program is going to be used to open it by default also. Uh, but then the newer versions of Microsoft Office have gone to the uh, XML version, so they've added an X on the end of it. So starting with Microsoft Office version 2007 and later, they've gone to the uh, new versions of the documents like DocX. Uh, PowerPoint is the PPTX. That means it's the newer version of Microsoft Office. Of course, you can, with the newer version of Office, you can save it as one of the old file types if you need to be backwards compatible for some reason. So a lot of these you can just look up to find out what types of files there are. You can just go to Google and look them up and see what they are and answer these questions right here. Uh, the last question is uh, inside the mind of Google. This is a great video. It's a few years old now. It's actually 2008, but I haven't found a video any better, and this will tell you a little bit about what's going on at Google, uh, and it's pretty interesting. I hope you watch the video. If you try to look up these questions about watching the video, you'll miss about two-thirds of them, uh, but it's a great video. Trust me on that. Um, let's see. Have I missed anything? Uh, hopefully, y'all can figure it out, and email me uh, any questions. So have a great day.